Raiders got time. Checks down. It's Ford. Had a receiving touchdown last week. Still going. And takes it inside the 15 all the way down to the 10-yard line. A gain of 33. The conference in TFLs is out. So is nose tackle Big Cat Stevenson. Huge losses for them up front. But watch on the perimeter. The smart play by Leonard Taylor, the tight end. Desmond sees he's got man coverage on the outside. Probably expects something from the slot going towards the corner of the end zone. On third down, Ritter keeps it, angles in, and a touchdown for Cincinnati. You want a fast start here. Gets the easy pass. He sees, all right, they've got that man coverage on the other side. And that's going to be the story over this final month of the regular season. Desmond Ritter looking for Michael Young off his hands and intercepted by Ty Neal Martin. And the Golden Hurricane swing the pendulum. You see the RPO action here. The ball a little high from Ritter. First and 10, Cincinnati from the 41 of Tulsa. Here's the blitz off the edge. Ritter has Pierce wide open, middle of the field. First and goal, Cincinnati. Wiley in motion. Here's Ford. And he finds the end zone once again. His 16th touchdown of the season. 15 have come on the ground. And then the all beef left side of this line here. This tight end room catching a lot of great balls for this team. Opponents only completing 51% on the season. From 35 yards, Long's kick is up and good. And Tulsa gets on the board. But essentially not even penalized for having the loss to Texas A&M. Desmond Ritter downfield. He's got Ford wide open. Another big play by the Cincinnati offense. Ford pumps and he's sacked. Anthony Goodlow with his third sack of the season. Empty look, third and long. Cincinnati needs the eight-yard line, and Ritter thrown to the ground. Elijah Taylor, the grad transfer out of Eastern Kentucky. Right as we give him praise here on the other side, Dylan O'Quinn, who played left guard for them last year. Anderson again, blasting through the defense into the secondary, and another red zone opportunity for Tulsa. Shamari Brooks in at running back. On first and goal, Brooks stutter step, reaching for the goal line, and he's in. To predict, we know this, 11 of Tulsa's last 14 games have been decided Pressure off the edge, corner blitz. Sauce Gardner tracks down Bryn right at the line of scrimmage. This would be a career long. And good. Go ahead and take a bow on this one. Plenty of distance on that, too. Philip Montgomery likes it. Cincinnati led 14-0. Tulsa 12 unanswered to close that first half. Ritter taking a shot downfield. He wants Pierce. Who makes the catch? 40 on that play to Pierce. This has been the story of the day. All of their scoring drives have come after a big play. And look at the concentration. Ritter looking for Pierce. Did he hang on? He did! Touchdown, Cincinnati! And you see this offensive group fired up now. Max protection here. You've got a two men out going there on the route. That's just a my better is better than your better play. With Alec Pierce one-on-one, -on -one, you see him beat. We still have not seen Ford come back into the game. Ritter throwing downfield, has a receiver wide open, and 
caught for a touchdown by Michael Young. 31 yards, Ritter to Young. Two touchdown passes today from Ritter. He's one more away from tying the school's all-time record currently held by his quarterback's coach. Letting this Tulsa offensive line get up and lean on them. Now, not this time, but Watkins gets free. And he's got big playability. We saw it last time out against Navy. On top of the slot receiver nearest to the line, Sam Crawford. They just get the playoff. Ezra Naylor, ball comes out. Was it a catch and a fumble? That's the ruling on the field. Recovered by Cincinnati and Javon Hicks. Own turnovers. If the call on the field stands, it's six. And that looks to be a catch. It looks to be a football move. Something to remember. When we show these to you, we're trying to show you real speed. Here's slow motion. One thing the officials are very aware of when they're looking at things in replay, when you slow it down, it distorts timing. As Pierce is a bit shaken up, his dad played football at Northwestern. Here's the toss to Montgomery. Accelerates across midfield, lowers his head. 21 more, another explosive play for Cincinnati. Anthony Watkins finds a crease on that right side, still going. And he picks up 15 more. Josh Johnson in motion. By Jay Sanders off the edge, and Curtis Brooks gets the sack. The ball comes out. Bryn under pressure gets away from Sanders, steps up, first down and more, and slides down at the 30 yard line. Davis Bryn, a run of 18. Under pressure early in this play. My Jay Sanders getting upfield. Or rather, fifth trip inside the Cincinnati 40 today. Two of them have resulted in no points. Brooks bounces to the outside and takes it inside the 15-yard line. Four receivers to the field. Play clock was down to one. Brand over the middle. One, Carlos Santana. Touchdown, Tulsa. And they are a two-point conversion away from making this a one-score game. A year ago when Davis Brin got his first game action against Tulane was the game-tying touchdown. And here, great job. Put him in the slot and try and see if you can get some sort of pick or natural rub to the outside in this three-man bunch. Santana closest to the line in the slot. And it's caught by Crawford in the back of the end zone. Conversion successful. And it's 28-20. 8-10 to go in regulation. Here's the strike to Juan Carlos Santana and the two-point conversion. Since he's got a 24-game home win streak. Anthony Watkins, a patient run. And he picks up 13 to take it to the Cincinnati 29. Watkins again, straight up the middle. Watkins spun down shy of the 10 by Javon Hicks. And let's see if we can get a better look at this play here. Ritter gets the ball underneath. Anish, usually in these situations, the rule of thumb is if you see the ball squirt up in one or two directions, that's on the center. If it hits that top hand and goes down, that's on the quarterback if it's getting back to him. Here's the pressure. Bryn gets rid of it. It's caught. Did he get the first down? That's the question. Now, this is going to be a big spot. They say no. Cincinnati ball. 240 pounds. Anderson ran into Beavers. Reaching over. He lost the football. It's fourth down. Only the player that fumbled it can recover the football with down. Only the player who fumbled can recover a fumble really on the to advance him. But right the there, he might be in. And I think he was losing it on the way that up, Anish. Now, you're going to look at this. 
Remember, ruled a fumble on the field, and watch when he extends his arm. That ball already looks like it's loose and on its way out. The other side had the better angle on this. Now one more look here. Anderson. The point is, if he has control right when that ball crosses, as soon as it crosses, it is a dead ball. So where does the ball start to come out? Right there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.